Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. This is part two of Pokemon Zen Bonsai. Today we're going to plant our Pokemon. I'm just waiting for the sand to come in the mail. I got the rakes in the mail already. But today we're going to, it's a nice cold day. It's 4 21 21. Uh, it's 40 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius outside. Got a fierce window, so that's why it's, it feels colder. Right now, here's the pot. What I did is I put a screen in here for our Zen, and I got our screen in the bottom of the hole here for our, our Pokemon, and I got a uh, bubble wrap here to try to keep the uh, soil out of the pot. So the first thing, and why do we do a Pokemon? Well, it's a very hardy, resilient plant. You get small leaves. Look how nice the leaves are. And you also get flowers on it. So it's a two-fold plant and it's hardy. And if you want, if you're bad at growing things, this is the plant to use. A very nice plant, very lovely plant. The soil I'm going to use is something different on the Pokemon Oak. I'm going to use one part worm castings, one part peat moss, one and a half parts torpedo sand, one and a half parts repti bark, and a tablespoon of Mikos. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tree out of the pot and as you can see Clint also has wood in, in, the, in his uh, mixture these trees are from Clint Cotton <clears throat> I like his uh, crepe myrtles because they're the best on the market I think I feel I've tried others, but this is the best. What I'm going to do is take the roots and put it in the water. Shake it. So we get most of the soil out so we can see what kind of a root base we got. And we have a nice little root base. Take my little back scratcher as a root break. Try to get out, get the roots uh, steady. Now we got to be careful with the roots because you can see they're growing. They're growing profusely. So we got to open it up very carefully, the root mass, so we can get a nice radial root base out of the deal. And we're going to take our scissors. I got them color coded so I know they're for the roots. And just clip a little bit and for now because they're growing I don't want to disturb all these fine looking roots we're gonna put it in the soil all we're gonna do is take this dead branch off all you do is go down with your scissors until you just hit the top of the leaf and there you go it doesn't you don't even see it So, let's get cooking. I'm going to get our pot. Put it over here. Let's get our mixture. Now you may think, Tom, I can't do this. It's arthritis. I can't move. Move. Hey, I got arthritis in the shoulder today. I can barely move my arm up to here. But I muscle through it. If I sit around all day and don't do nothing, arthritis gets worse. So after this video, I got two more fish tanks to do a water change on, so I keep busy. So don't be afraid. You got to you gotta work through all this. I wish you could smell the soil with the repti bark. It's pure fir bark. I got it mixed in with the soil. So what I'm going to do is, it's got a nice woodsy smell to it. I don't know what it is, but it's, it's super. Get it in. I'm going to take this as our front, spread our roots out on the mound that we have there. Take it and put our soil in. And take our chopstick, 
work it into the the soil into the roots take our bamboo skewer for the finer roots and get it in there there we go look how nice that is perfect little soil mix now get my spoon put it in the more you keep active the better you are keeps the brain going because it keeps you thinking of what you got to do so there we go now I'm not going to pile it up too high yet I'll wet this down because I want to see if I can put a rock in here or a nice little tree or a nice little not tree I got a tree in there a nice little uh, house let's see what we can do with this push our soil in now we got a nice base to work with we can use something like this it'll be a little too big a little house in the background But I think we're just gonna give this a nice little woodsy look. Let's see, I got a little piece of slate here. And I think that might work out good. Let me see if I got any more of the same color slate. We can put it in the background. Uh, I think that's about it on that. I don't have any more, so maybe just the one will suffice. Because I don't think the house will do good. Maybe like this. Nah, we'll stay with the rock. We'll have our woodsy look. Boom, put it in so we try to keep it off the Zen garden. Now, I didn't open the rakes up yet. I'm going to open them up uh, when I get the sand in so you can see it on the video. I'm going to look for some rocks so we can put in our little garden. Something nice, something different. Now the best thing about this Zen garden is you can have your tree with you and if you get tired or bored or you want to meditate you can just move the sand around. That's what's good about it. Okay. Got everything in there pretty well packed. Let me just wet it down a little bit. Take our water bottle and just water it in. And I think that looks pretty good. Press it in with your fingers, get everything in settled. If you got deep pockets or the ground settled, Because I got it just below the rim of our wall here. Then all we do is add more soil. Remember, you can do it. There's no such word as can't. Try and try again. I do. I don't let this stuff get me down. Arthritis bothers me. I just try to muscle through it. There's days when it hurts the devil out of you, but what are you going to do? That's life. Bad eating when I was a kid. 
There we go. Got this in nice. It's got that nice little sandy woodsy feeling. Let's give it a little more water. Now if you have this outside, sure you're gonna get it's gonna get wet with the rain. But you can always put plastic wrap over your your Zen garden and bring it in when you want to work with it. So now let's get everything in. Let it drain real good. And I think we got it. We'll just drain out some of the water so it gets out. Rock the pot back and forth. Tip it. Get some of that excess moisture out. Cover our bucket. Let's wipe our pot off. And there's the start of our Zen garden. And see, we caught most of the soil. And there's the start of our Zen garden, our little tree and our little rock. Do you think the house would look good in there? Let's see. Maybe so, why not? Something completely different. Let's push it into the soil, pack the soil around her so it looks like it's in there. And we have it. Our little Zen garden. Now when the sand comes in and the rakes, I'll show you the rakes that I got today. When everything, when the sand comes in, we'll do that. And I think for this, I, I have some rocks that might look good for our Zen garden. So we'll try that out. So today is Wednesday. Hot cup of tea, old time radio. Have a good mystery. Get in your favorite chair, sit down, relax. Sit down with your loved one. Read a book or just listen to old time radio today. It's a cold, windy day. The wind is fierce, but what? that's life. What are you gonna do? So you take care. Part three will be coming up next as soon as I get the sand in the mail. You take care and thank you for coming to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>